we want you to go through your passport, either by yourself or with your parents, and tick off three goals that you want to accomplish throughout the next few weeks you're doing cool moves. Then you have your challenges. So your first challenge is to drink one glass of water every day within a half an hour of waking up. So that's like you walk, get out of bed, go to the kitchen, grab a glass of water, finish it, and then start your day. And then we want you to stretch three minutes for the whole week. So that can be three minutes at one time, one minute over three days, or you can use the yoga that we just did and count that for your three minutes. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here where it says week one or whatever corresponding week it is and see there's glass of water, there's a person stretching, and then there's fruit and there's a heart. And Jen's gonna go over these two next. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pen and you're gonna either cross off, you're gonna put an X or you're gonna put a heart, whatever you want over that little emoji so you know you finished it that week. And then Jen's gonna run through the other two and what happens when you finish them all, what kind of prizes you get. Perfect, and so for the third one on our passport, we've got a little bit more to do with our nutrition. Um, so referring to the food guide that is in your kit, you can refer back to that or you can also um, go through the colors of the rainbow um, as we call it with the fruits and the veggies. So I'll give you a couple examples of each color, um, but what you can do as well, maybe with uh, yourself and maybe you can discuss it with your parents if you want as well, um, make out yourself a list of your veggies that you normally have in your fridge, your fruits that you normally have at your house as well, so that you're able to be able to consume those throughout uh, the program as well. So with red fruit for the color of the rainbow, um, anything like strawberries, um, raspberries, cherries, cranberries are good items. Um, or for veggies, red peppers are also an item. Tomatoes are also a fruit, but <laughs> can be a vegetable as well. Um, orange is the next color of the rainbow, so it can be anywhere from peaches, uh, oranges, cantaloupes, and again with your vegetables, it can be carrots and orange peppers, for example. And then you go down to the green color of your fruits, um, anything like green apples, kiwis, um, melons, and with a whole bunch of different greens for your vegetables, can anywhere be from spinach, lettuce, and then veggies, cucumbers, celery, um, green peppers, there's a whole variety of greens. So you won't have any shortage of those. Yellow fruit um, can be bananas and pineapples. And for yellow veggies, uh, you can include potatoes if you want, um, and also yellow peppers. And then you've got your indigo fruit, um, which is blueberries, blackberries, grapes, plums, any of those, um, a vegetable for that color. Could also be an eggplant if you have those in your family's household as well. Um, and just a note, blueberries are a very good choice to have on a daily basis. Um, perfect, so that is the colors of the rainbow. And so what we have on the passport, so you can check it off if you um, complete one from each of your color of your rainbow each week, you can cross off your level fruits and veggie symbol. And then if you actually consume some more each day, you can write down which ones you did and you'll get points for any of the extra ones that you have done as well. And then for our fourth challenge um, is going to be the acts of kindness uh, challenge. So there's going to be a whole variety of what you can do with that. Uh, we suggest whenever you encourage one of your friends or um, one of your maybe classmates that you don't normally talk to at school. Um, but please come up with a whole bunch of different kinds of acts of kindness and then we can go through them each week and you can tell everybody what, what you have done. Um, so when you've completed your challenge, we'll go through all of the points and there will be a prize at the end um, for whoever has done kind of the most points throughout the passport and then also who has shown a lot of participation, a lot of encouragement to other people that's in the program. Um, do you want to? There's, you could also do your, for your acts of kindness, you could do it in club too. So if you do it in club, 
that would be great. And then you could let your friends know that you're doing it and maybe they'll want to join. So try and get as many of your friends together as you can, all do it together and you can make a little competition. And then everyone that participates can get prizes, but the person that does the most out of all of us can get one big prize. And we'll tell you near the end as a little surprise. Thank you.